so much of our groundbreaking medical research is done right here at home. And tonight, we want to dig a little deeper on the fight against cancer and explain to you what molecular profiling is. Are you Dr. Albert Einstein or Albert <laughs> Abalafia? Abalafia. Okay, I thought it was Einstein there. But you are a genius when it comes to What is molecular profiling, doctor? Of course, he is the boss of the Weinberg Cancer Research over at uh, Franklin Square, MedStar Franklin Square. Well, thank you, Jamie. Um, molecular profiling is the ability to take a tiny, tiny piece of tissue, look at it under the microscope, send it to a lab to do a bunch of tests to mm. look at the genetics, the molecular profile of a certain cancer, and get answers within 14 days that may give us the option to tell which patients are likely to respond to chemotherapy, as well as what the most appropriate chemotherapy might be for that patient. All right, take me through it. You just diagnosed somebody with cancer. What, what's the next step then? Yeah, so, you know, we used to think that all cancers were sort of the same. If you had lung cancer, every lung cancer was the same. If you had colon cancer, every colon cancer was the same. But what we've found and what we've learned is that that is absolutely not the case. So we look to see what the mutations are, what the genetic profile, almost like the fingerprint or the blueprint of that particular cancer that you have, which may be different than the person sitting next to you who also has the same kind of cancer, meaning a lung cancer or colon cancer. Are you excited over the successes that you are seeing? Yeah, absolutely. So we are, I would say, really on the forefront and really at a landmark jumping off point. You know, the areas where it's been the most helpful is probably breast cancer. Mm. And people have heard about early stage breast cancer Cancer, when it hasn't spread to the lymph nodes and looking at whether that woman should get chemotherapy or not and what her risk of developing a recurrence or a more invasive form of breast cancer Does is. Does everybody qualify or? So um, we don't know is the short answer. Okay. So certainly the NCCN guidelines, which is a group of national cancer centers that look at uh, promoting sort of best practices. It's established for early stage breast cancer. It's a little bit established for some of the others, but not established as a guideline. And so what we're doing at MedStar Franklin Square now is trying to get a large group of patients to take that little bit of tissue, send it off, have molecular profiling, and see what information we can use to individualize the treatment for that patient. And the bottom line, I hate to ask, is it expensive? So it's a great question and it's an appropriate question. It used to be $2,000. It's down to way less than that. Most insurance companies do cover it. Do. And co-pays are usually between $100 and $200. Okay, you are a genius. Well, Remember thank that. you. <laughs> thank you, doctor, for coming in Jamie, here. Jamie, thanks for having you me. You are the best. You know that. And we are also...